Hello, welcome back to Eric Sivo and Wasset. It's part four of the bucket tram we built. The original design of the Taimia buggy tram is based on a real racing car, Funko SS1. When compare them side by side, I find that the buggy tram has a larger side panel and a wider body. So I try to slim it down. In the very beginning of this project, I cut off the side panels from the body. And then I took a tiny part from the side panels and reserved for future uses. And then the body of the buggy tram is divided into the front and rear portions. And I slim them down separately. And before I slim down the body of the rear part, I add several layers of plastic board inside. And then I reattach the front and rear portions with glue. The front panel is reconstructed it is a plastic board which has been banded by heating. And then I use sandpapers to smoothen and shape the outer of the body. This part is really interesting but time consuming. We have a slimmer body, but it is just the beginning. Then we shape the body to fit the shashi. Like this and this. The rear bracket of the body was cut to accommodate the 3D print engine. And then I did a slight modification on the front panel like this. Let's compare the modified one and the original one. The modified one is just limmer now. The front panel has been modified to accommodate the shashi. For the rear part, I'm going to reserve a recessed part for the dampers.
The original rear guard is divided into two parts, and I will go through it later. The new side panels are a little bit tricky. They are small parts take apart from the original side panels. After attached to the new body, I use the remaining plastic taken from the body to um, mix an extension of this side panel at the rear part of the body. And then I use a very thin aluminium plate to make the front panel. This aluminium plate attached it to the front panel with double side tape. For the lower part of the side panel, I use layers of plastic board to reconstruct them. Several thin layers are used because um, they are easier to bend. Just bend the plastic and glue them together. No fire or heat is used. The rear top portion of the body is reconstructed like this. A number plate was made and attached it. And then I proceed to the work of the headlight mount. Actually, I started to re the rebuilding work since last June and it has been six months till now. The body of this buggy chain will include some of the frameworks which were made by heating and bending the plastic pipe.
Then we proceed to the rebuilding of the driver. Afterwards, I started making some details about the engine. At this moment, the body has almost finished and I started to paint it. Now it's almost finished, yet some places need to be painted manually, such as the, the framework and the engine and the inners. Then I will apply it with clear spray and then polish it. The works here is almost finished. By the way, let me introduce my channel Eric Sivo and Watson. There are several topics in this channel. You will find um, the Magmore Defecation Project, some lanterns work and paperwork and RC cars and boats, test reviews videos in this channel. Please subscribe to this channel if videos are interested to you. And at the moment I'm updating the Buggy Jam project and I will very soon um, upload a new video. Please stay tuned. Stay safe and we will be meeting again.